Here we are at the allotment today, it's um, Christmas Eve and we've got more floods. It's uh, not very good, is it? Luckily, again, my plot's got away with it so far. So far. This is a corner of my plot here, and the water's there. So it's not far away, is it now? And if we turn around on the other side, we can see that it's just creeping up to the path as well, which is right next to my plot. Oh dear. Plot isn't uh, looking too bad. Um, shed still standing. I've put a um, load of leaves down there um, with bricks on, so they had a netting on, so it don't blow away. The uh, onions and the garlic are coming up. It is the 25th of December, so Christmas Day. Merry Christmas to everyone. Let's have a quick. Christmas Day plot tour. Um, spinach, where we, we can eat that. This one I thought would have got bigger by now, but should take off in the spring, so we'll have some early sp spinach. Got lots of uh, spring cabbages, so again, hopefully, they take off and not stop growing. Um, the ones I put in earlier. They're nice, we've been eating them for a while and been eating this kale which has been fantastic. Um, from Plants of, Disti Plants of Distinction it's called Emerald Ice and we've got one of the back called Midnight Sun as well. And it's almost white in the middle and it's so tasty, it's so much better than the hard, chewy, normal green kale that we get. Uh, purple Sprite and doing alright. <coughs> Two different varieties there. Rudolph, smaller one this side, so should crop earlier. And the other one is, I think it's a, well, it's a spring variety anyway, just called purple sprouting, and it usually fills a hungry gap, so it should get some about April and May. Two lots of sprouts, Maximus, which are a small variety, but they get some beautiful sprouts on them. <clears throat> and this one's called Doric. <coughs> and, uh, yeah, I mean, not really impressed. They're much bigger plants, but to be honest, I think the maximum we've got better sprouts on, even though they're half the size. More spring cabbage. Again. I hope we've got time for it to uh, crop before the uh, before the next crop goes in. Some more spinach down here and some red kale. An emerald sun again. These are nicely dug and raked, ready for the next crop to go in, which I can't remember. Um, well, I haven't really planned it 100% yet. I've just done a new plan because so much has moved over the last two years from the original drawing I've done. So I'm do in the process of doing a new one at the moment. Leeks got hit by the allium leaf miner pretty badly, but what I do is take the outside off the rotten bit that's been chewed, and they do recover pretty well. So, we, well, we are eating them. Um, they'll start growing again, sort of February, March, and they'll get a lot bigger than that. So don't listen to what they say on TV or on these garden magazines. Take the outside leaves off, which are the rotting ones, until you come to some clean leaves in the inside. Might take a while, but once you've done it, um, just leave them like that. Destroy whatever you take off, because the chrysalis of the alum leaf miner are in there. So burn it or take it home and put it in your green bin. And then <clears throat> they will recover. So... Don't give up on them. 
carrots. Uh, they were put in um, a bit late. I was hoping to have them ready so we could just pull them. But uh, they're, they're keep through the winter and they will have an early crop of carrots next year. Got all the fish boxes ready in the greenhouse and the propagating trays ready to start the seeds. Probably start them in March, no, probably February in here. Um, rather than growing them at home because they grow so much sturdier and stronger if you grow them here. When I grow them at home, they go a bit leggy. <clears throat> there we've got beetroot, which we use for salad leaves, mixed with salad leaves. We've got lettuce there. We've got spring cabbage at the back, which is usually very good in a greenhouse. Uh, more lettuce, some kale, um, spring cabbage, different types of lettuce there as well. So it'll be interesting to see which ones actually are not killed by the, the cold and which ones still grow and which ones we can get a crop out of during the winter, so we we'll wait and see. It's a day after the night before and the flood water has receded, but as you can see, the flood water that's left has turned into ice. Wow, never seen that before. Yeah, loads of little bits of ice there as well. But at least it's receded, so Hopefully in the next couple of days, it will disappear. Looks very strange with this ice. Never ever seen that before. It's just so weird. There we go. I think we're going to do some uh, ice skating later on this one. So it's a lovely sunny day today, but it's Christmas day today, so I can't spend it all day here. I have to go and get some um, Christmas dinner. So again, Merry Christmas to everyone. Hope you have a great day and speak to you soon.